Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it's time for our next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 364. <laughs> Happy anniversary! <laughs> yes, this is our anniversary YouTube. It is the our retail store has been here for 16 years. Happy anniversary! <laughs> And it's all due to all of you out there, truly. It is even now more than ever to keep an independent mom and pop shop going. Oh, we can't thank you enough. So this anniversary sale is a little different than other years for obvious reasons. And I have so much to tell you today and so much to show you. I made myself a list so I didn't forget what I needed to say. <laughs> Now, anniversary sale. Wahoo Kachu, thank you for being with us. I have door busters for you that I'm gonna run through and show you really quickly. I have free gifts going out. I do. This is, like I said, a little bit different for an anniversary sale for us. Normally, our retail store is open. It is a huge event. There are manufacturers that fly in to host free make and takes for our local peeps. We have a buffet of food out there. We've got prizes and free gifts and it's it's just a whole lot of fun and hundreds of people come but not this year. So I really had to think do I even want to do an anniversary sale this year? Is it okay to do an anniversary sale? Well yes, yes it is. I am proud that we are still in business. I am grateful and blessed that we are still in business. So we're doing an anniversary sale. It is going to run a little differently than before. Typically our anniversary sales are a ships when it ships policy and no free shipping on anything. When you're offering doorbuster $72 worth of product for 10 bucks, it's hard for us to pick up the shipping on top of that. But this year, this year is a different year all the way around. So we're changing things up. First off, it is not a ships when it ships policy for this sale. It will not be a ships when it ships. This YouTube will just go in line and when we get to it, we're gonna ship it out and move along. We're not, we're not gonna wait. We're, we've already got the manufacturers working on the product for this YouTube to get it here in time that when 363 is done shipping, this one will go right after it. Also, free shipping. Absolutely, we're gonna honor free shipping on this regardless if you spend $50 on doorbuster deals or however you spend your $50. If you spend $50 or more, you're going to get free shipping. It's the right thing to do. This is such a different year and everybody is on such a budget and it's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna absorb it and, and, and we're, grateful to, we're grateful to have the opportunity to even be here for you. So free shipping as long as you spend $50 or more and it's not on some big item. There are some items that obviously are excluded. A six inch roll of Stacy tape is excluded from free shipping. Uh, you know, a machine of some kind is excluded from free shipping. But everything I've got in front of me today, absolutely, if you spend $50 or more, you've got that free shipping. And pay attention. Sometimes we get orders through that are literally $49.82. For 12 cents more, just buy, buy $1.99 ink or something because then you're gonna save the shipping charges. So watch that number. $50 is the number you're aiming for to get that free shipping. Doorbuster deals I have over here and I'm gonna show them to you. I'm not gonna do anything with them. I'm just gonna show them to you and then we're gonna move on to today's class. Current YouTube, see I'm looking at my list. Current YouTube, where are we at? Okay, so we just received in today on a huge palette, the last Spellbinder kits we had. The last two that we did, we don't have any more Spellbinder kits coming up. The last two that we did just landed today. That and the Inky Antics Twisty Explosion card die, that is also landing the first uh, around the, the first of next week. 
those are the next two YouTubes to go and we are trying to fill two at a time. So those two YouTubes are back to back and we're going to try and fill them both at the same time and be shipping both at the same time. We are still a skeleton crew. We are just we are just going to put our heads down and square our shoulders and dive straight through because once we get caught up, we will be caught up. So we're going to we're going to march forward and try and get that done. What does that mean to you? It means that you may get well like this is 364 and last week was 363. If we try and fill both of these YouTubes the same time, have two different people filling, you may get 364 before you get 363. It just depends upon how many orders there are for each YouTube and how much product has to be pulled and did the order in front of you have 400 items on it or did it have two? So please don't worry if for some reason you get a, a newer order before a little bit older order. We're trying to just get them out as quickly as possible and that is why we are not making this a ships when it ships. We want it just to go in line. Will the products I'm showing you today get to you by Christmas? Yes, yes, they will. We are trying desperately to get caught up. <laughs> and because I know what I'm bringing for you today, you are going to want to make Christmas gifts out of. We will have them to you in time to make Christmas gifts. I, I would like to think that at the latest, it will be sometime uh, mid-November that these will ship to you. If this is, well, we're not even in October yet, right? Are we almost in October? I don't know, we're getting there. <laughs> but we're going, as we're shipping two YouTubes at a time, we will get closer and closer to caught up and you will have ample time to make beautiful Christmas gifts out of these. I promise you that, I will make sure of that. And so, um, holy smokes artichokes, they're just wonderful. I have winner winner to talk about. I've got that over here. The 100 prizes for the, did I talk about the 100 prizes? Yay for prizes. So normally during our anniversary sale, we give away 100 prizes. We do it every year. And those prizes are compiled of winner winner chicken dinner peeps that never claimed their prize and manufacturers send us some things. So this year again, it's a little different. We've been doing gift cards ever since March to just make things easier on shipping. But I have prizes, big prizes, lots of prizes. When our internet goes down here, our internet and our phones, we pretty much are dead in the water. There's, we can clean, we can do inventory. We're kind of stuck as to what we can do. So I got the bright idea of, hey, let's pre-package anniversary sale winner winner chicken dinners. Hey. Let's pre-package anniversary sale winner winner chicken dinners. I have no idea what's in here. I have no idea what's in this one. But we've gone ahead and pre-packaged prizes ready to go. Again, I don't know what are in these two envelopes. And I, I don't know if we have 50 envelopes ready to go. Well, 50 envelopes and boxes because some things are in boxes. We have everything from big, big prizes worth, you know, over $200 all the way down to things that are probably 10, 15, $25 all ready to go. And it's just a random pull. It's to who gets what, but we're going to continue with our prizes for our anniversary sale. And all you have to do is post a comment on this YouTube. That's all you have to subscribe. There should be a uh, a heart down there that says SMS and if you move your cursor over it a banner will appear that says subscribe all you have to do is subscribe to us and post a comment on this YouTube and this is your best opportunity the odds are in may the odds ever be in your favor <laughs> this is it because we give away so many prizes during our anniversary sale. And like I said, some of them are over $200 and some of them are not. And we will just randomly pick one and ship it to you. Will you have to claim your prize this year? No, if you have an online account, you must have an online account with us to be able to receive your prize. You don't even have to claim it. We will, once the names have been announced, We'll find your online account, we'll issue, put a label on it, and off it will go to you. So, because why? They're prepackaged. <laughs> so don't even worry about having to claim your prize this year. We're gonna try and simplify it as much as possible. So if you don't have an online account with us, but you've been you've been saying, 
I want to be a winner winner chicken dinner and posting comments every week. You need that online account to get your prize. Hopefully, you know, hopefully I, I, I want to say we've got at least 60 or 70 already done ready to go. And maybe not next week, maybe the following week, I will have a separate email wall or a separate YouTube where I will name everybody who has won. And like I said, you won't even have to claim your prize. We'll just ship it on out to you. So anniversary sale, wahoo, ka -choo. Again, ever so thankful to be here. Now, one last thing I want to do before I go to winter, winter chicken dinner and talk about uh, great timing. These peeps have one right before a big sale so they could take their $25 and buy, I don't know, things that are a dollar for, <laughs> okay, well, $25, that means they could get two of the door busters for $9.99. That's $144 right there for 20 bucks. I mean, talk about savings. If they use their money wisely, their gift cards, they should be able to get themselves some pretty good hauls. Now, what else do I need to talk to you before I do winner winner? Oh, okay. So one of the products I'm using today is exclusive to scrapbooking made simple. It is my design and the company that made it for us is one of the featured companies today. It is Clear Scraps. And she said, you know, I, I said, do you think I, I could, well, maybe she said, we can do one just for you, your own design. And I said, really? So I sent her over what I wanted and I, I, I could pretty, be pretty sure that she looked at my image and went, uh, <laughs> huh? <laughs> because what I wanted, well, I didn't know it was going to be more difficult to manufacture. It turns out it is. And she didn't bat an eye, bless her heart at Clear Scrap Susan. She didn't bat an eye. She got right down to it. She sent me prototypes. We figured it out. And then I found out that it takes almost twice as long to cut my design as it does to cut any of their other designs. And yet she did not raise the price. You got to love her for that. She's letting me sell them to you at the same price as all the other designs, even though mine is far more, well, go figure, mine's far more intricate. Hello. <laughs> so from, from me to you, Susan, thank you so, so much for all you have done. It is so appreciated and not gone unnoticed. And I hope that your support of Scrapbooking Made Simple turns out to be our customer support of clear scraps and if you like my design then the only place you're going to get it is here but you're going to get it at a rock star price so okay let's talk winner winner chicken dinner because i have got so much to show you all right so quick 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 our first winner winner chicken dinner is karen karen this is from youtube 364 or no 363 that was the creative expressions of aurora triple flakes Harpy Still and My Dyes. Karen Skinnell. Skinnell, hello Karen, how are you doing? Is that you? If it is, wahoo, could you? You win a winner, winner chicken dinner and get $25 to spend during the anniversary sale. Make that money count. How often do you hear a retail store owner telling you how to spend your money to make it worth more? <laughs> I would want to. I am that girl. I, I want to make the most out of every dollar. Okay. <laughs> and the manufacturers will tell you that is who I am. Our second winner winner is Renee. Renee Resvan? Resvan. Renee Resvan. Is that you? Hello, Renee. You're a winner winner chicken dinner. You can see I started to write my list on the back of yours. <laughs> but I thought, no, this is going to be really long. Okay. So Karen and Renee, you both have won a $25 gift card to Scrapbooking Made Simple. You don't have to do anything. If you've got an online account, I will put that money in that account and have fun. And then of course, what do we have to do? You're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, cut you for you. I know, back it up and watch it again and we'll do it again. You're a winner, chicken dinner. No, not really. <laughs> It's late here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. It's going to be a super late night here. I'll be all hoo-hoo by the end. Okay, time to get started. Doorbuster deals. Okay, first things first. Simply Botanical. Simply Botanical right here. 
I've got the new Simply Botanical and it is the Dragonfly. It is up online right now. You can order it right now. It is not, it's, it's part of the anniversary sale, which is not a ships when it ships policy. I am gonna tilt on down. I'm gonna show you the samples of Simply Botanical and then we will move on to, on to the doorbusters and then on to today's make and take. Are you ready? Down we go. Bye everybody and again, thank you for keeping this mom and pop shop open. For everything that has happened, I can't thank you enough. We are blessed, we are humbled, we are grateful and we just hope to stay here for a little while longer. I hope that COVID-19 passes and and we look forward to the day of reopening our retail store because I miss you. I miss our customers. I miss our Saturday make and takes. I miss my friends. I miss the product. I miss displaying it all. I miss merchandising. So as soon as we can reopen, we will. Down we go. And zoom on in and down and zoom on in okay simply botanical diane stamp set once a month it is a combination between hero arts and scrapbooking made simple hero arts scrapbooking made simple and value priced 14 dollars and 39 cents and when they're gone they're gone so let me show you some of the beautiful samples all done with this month's Simply Botanical. So that would be September's Simply Botanical. And then we have here. And then we have here. And I know I'm whipping through them. I've got a lot to do here. So pretty, right? And look at that, that's just beautiful. All done with that stamp and die set. All done with that stamp and die set. You can do it, $14.39. And you can only find Simply Botanical here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. Okay, last one. Now let's talk doorbuster deals because I've got a few of them. I'm going to zoom on back. And that way. Okay, first things first, Chow Bella. I have Chow Bella 6x6 paper pads. They usually retail for $7.50. I want to say we have them for $2.99. I, I think that's the price. They are all out of Italy. We have very limited uh, stock on, on most of them. So if you are in love with Chow Bella paper, now is the time to get the 6x6 paper pads. Really, they are just magnificent. The product is so beautiful. So we've got these on a door buster deal. Like I said, they retail for $7.99 and we have them, I want to say $2.99 is what I think that we've got them down for. And just lovely. But what we also have from Chow Bella is a few of their creative pads. Now I've YouTubed these before. I haven't done this one. I've done this one. And I don't think I've done that one. We have three of their creative pads. If you are a card maker, a scrapbooker, altered art, mixed media, these are amazing. You can easily make 30 cards without question out of this pack. Truly, you can. You can do layouts. Take your 12 by 12 paper and you've got beautiful uh, printed paper and ephemeral paper. And if you've seen any of my YouTubes, now is the time to get your maybe these are $2.99 maybe the maybe the paper pads I don't remember all I know is that they're at an amazing value and they are a doorbuster deal and when they are gone they are gone there are three of them for you to choose from 
Then we have the next collection of Jane Davenport and her soft pastels. These are not <laughs> makeup. I did a whole YouTube on these. These are not the same pastels that we did the YouTube on prior. These are the last two of the collection. If you have the first two, you may want to have the last two so you have the whole assortment. They retailed for $19.99 each. So 40 bucks. We're doing both of them for $17.99 and they are beautiful. They are very much like a pan pastel and they color and you can erase it and they're just gorgeous. So these are the last two kits we will have of Jane Davenport's soft pastels. Yes, I know they look like makeup. They are not. They are the most beautiful, creamy product ever. Then on top of that, we have, and you wanna talk about looking like makeup, I could open my purse right now and pull out a lipstick that is in this exact same container. These are also from Jane Davenport. They are a velvet pastel, which means, well, there's nine of them. Let me get the nine out. There's nine colors. They are a velvet pastel, not a lipstick, which means when you open them up, if they've got a, a beautiful, beautiful, really creamy, pastel that goes on paper just gorgeous and they blend oh my gosh and the girls were using them as um, as shadow and you'll see the cards you are absolutely welcome to go to spellbinders and buy them at seven dollars and 99 cents each because that's what they sell for or you can get all nine colors almost 72 dollars worth of product for 9.99 you choose one for $7.99 at Spellbinders. Love Spellbinders because that's who's selling them to us. Or all of them, all nine, for $9.99. That is a doorbuster deal. Wahoo, kachoo. Wait till you see the samples. Then on top of all of that, we have about, I want to say close to 100 Spellbinders dies and stamps and all sorts of stuff that we did not have at the warehouse sale starting at, I don't know, a dollar? I, I, we've got some incredible door busters from Spellbinders that I think will make your heart happy. Gosh, if this doesn't make your heart happy, or the the um, beautiful uh, pastels here, I mean, I would have them all if I, uh, me, I would have them all, or the Chow Bellas, I, I think that you will find something in the door buster deal area that that just sings to you and you will have them in time for Christmas so if you need Christmas gifts imagine getting all nine of these and then just putting one in all your crafty friends stockings absolutely they will love them truly they are beautiful that looks like the same color twice hmm. okay well I'm gonna put them away now I'm gonna show you samples made with these so I've got a bunch of samples here and I'm using, they've used stamps from Stampendous and Hero Arts that we will be having also as part of our YouTube Yummy sale. This is a Stampendous stamp. And it, the only thing they used was the Jane Davenport product. That is what we use to make all of these cards. Oh, I'm running out of room. This is a Stampendous stamp that I'm going to be, that I will have for you. It's part of the YouTube Yummy sale. And then these are done with the Jane Davenport. This is a the Jane Davenport making the background. And that is a Hero Arts stamp that I will have for you. Jane Davenport and Hero Arts. Jane Davenport. So they went in with the pastels that look like eyeshadow and then added 
the the darker is from what was out of the little uh, lipstick containers. You know what? I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And this stamp is a Stampenda stamp that will be on the YouTube Yummy sale. Again, the background was done with Jane. And the stamp is, I think this is a Hero Arts stamp. Love the stamp. It's so psychedelic. Ooh. <laughs> and here we have, again, done with the soft pastels that look like the makeup, the, the eyeshadow, and then accented in the darker colors with the Jane Davenport velvet pastels, which look like the lipstick containers. And this is a succulence stamp by Stampendous. How about this one? Done with Jane. And I have this stamp for you as well as part of the uh, YouTube Yummy sale. And again, done with Jane with the soft pastels and the velvet pastels, and this is a Stampenda stamp that I will have for you. And we haven't even gotten to what I'm teaching today. This is all uh, doorbuster stuff. So the stamp is a Stampenda stamp that I will have for you, and the product, and see, they went in with the soft pastels that look like eyeshadows to lay down the lighter color, and then came in with the darker color from the lipstick. The ones that look like lipstick. They're not lipstick. Don't use them as lipstick. Don't get confused putting it in your purse. Same thing here. So pretty. And then our very last one. All done with the Jane Davenport and a Stampendous stamp that I will have for you. All right, so that goes over the... Ooh. Back a little bit. That goes over the doorbusters, that goes over the anniversary sale, that goes over the winner, winner, chicken dinner, that tells you how to become a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's get on to YouTube number 364 because it is spectacular. Are we ready? Down I go, okay. Holy smokes, artichokes. Now, what, well, what is this? Uh-huh, look at that. Look at this darling little stand and what goes on it? How about your phone? That's my phone, it's dirty. <laughs> how about your phone? Look at how beautiful is that? But wait, I did this one earlier. Look at this. And what goes on it? Your phone. And how expensive are these? They are not. And how easy is it to make them? Wait till you see what we do with them. How fun is that? Everybody needs at least one. You need it on your desk, you need it in your kitchen, and you need it in your bathroom. That's three for everybody. And not only do they, let me put my phone back, not only do they come in a wood, which is what this is, this one was done. They come in an acrylic, and even the back is done. Wait till you see how easy it is to do these. So let's start. I am going to start super, super, super easy. Super, super, super easy. And maybe I will take mine. Maybe I will take mine. Okay, this is how they come packaged. This is it. This is all there is. And you stick that through there and it stands and you put your phone on it. So this is the exclusive design, which I think you can see now why it takes so much longer to cut mine. 
mine is all intricate and detailed out. I've got that lattice work versus something, you know, this is very simple to cut. You're just doing a basic little top or the other, which is just a rectangle. So you can see why my design, she, she probably looked at it and went, oh, Stacy, really? And I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> and thankfully she said, okay. And I'm not even gonna charge you any extra for it. But a darling little phone um, stand. What else can you put on here? You can put a calendar here. What makes your heart happy? And how easy is it to paint or color these? Piece of cake. All right, I'm gonna get a paper towel. And I think, cause I've already got those colors out cause I was playing with them earlier. I am going to use, oh, Stacy. <laughs> well, let's put that back together. My paintbrush just came off. I'm going to paint with my eye zinc natural paints. Can you use any paint? Absolutely. The eye zinc paint is nice. It's good coverage, really good coverage and dries super, super fast. So I tend to like this because it's just easy and fast. I like the fast part. So if I took a little bit of the blue and put it down, a little bit of a blob, and go in there and just I mean, you can see the coverage. It's good coverage. And let's put a little bit more down. And I think I'm just going to paint the whole thing blue. And get all in there. I see baby wipes in my future. But a little paint goes a long way. I don't think that I will need any to add any more paint. I think those two little blobs is more than enough. Now, if you want to do the back side, you'll have to add some more paint. Okay. Blue. And you could then just paint the, the base and call yourself done, finished. I mean, you could put a couple little blings on the top if you really wanted to, whatever makes your heart happy, but you don't really have to take it any further than that if you don't want to. What a great idea for kids because it's easy. But I wanna add some more color to this. So what if I took a little bit of the green? And I do a little blob of green. And now I've got some green going. You'll see that the green pretty much covers the blue underneath. And if I want to make a blend of some sort, because I don't want it green and blue, I want to blend it a little bit, I'm just going to add a little more blue and move them into each other. You're like, oh, Stacy, I could never blend. You just saw me do that. It's just paint. You can do this. Really, you can. And the beautiful thing is, if you don't like it, you paint over the top of it. But look at how smooth the blends are. Really nice, right? Really nice into each other. And if I wanted to add more green, I could. Oh, I didn't want to do that. That's too blue. No, green, Stacy, green. Add a little more green to the bottom, just so it's really nice and green. Okay, then let's take a paper towel and kind of wipe this down a little bit. Water is all you need to do. Get out of your paintbrush. Do not use really expensive paintbrushes. I mean, the kids, you could even do this with your hand, to be honest with you. They could finger paint it right on. This is um, natural paint. So 80% of this paint is made out of natural materials. It's non-toxic, it's water soluble. You can just, just go and have a good time with it and not have to worry. How about a little yellow at the top? 
Ooh, that's very yellow. See, look at how that coverage. It covered my blue right up. So I'm just gonna blend that down, maybe add a little more blue. Just a little, I'm just adding just a little. A little goes a long way. And kind of blend them on into each other. I don't know, what do we think? More yellow at the top. We can go more yellow at the top and make that top really yellow so that it, it, it really stands out. Just a little bit at the top. Well, that's a little too much. So you get that beautiful ombre effect. Now you could have just painted it one color. It was whatever makes your heart happy. And how quick does this dry? Well, let's stick it, right? Let's do the back. And what color should we do the back? Should we do the back green? Let's do the little stand while we've got it. And I'm just gonna paint the stand, the little stand green since that's what I've got towards the bottom. And I'm not painting in any, you know, particular fashion. Just I'm just getting it on there. Okay, good. I mean, we're talking quick and easy, right? Let me put my lids back on because I'm notorious for not doing that. Let's, that says yellow. Let's pull this one back over and this one is green. I'm going to put that away and I'm going to wipe down my, my craft mat. So, ready? Just like that easy peasy cleanup. I'm just using a baby wipe. Okay, so let's take a look. I can see that it's got a little bit of a glaze going on, a little bit of a gloss going on, so I know that it's not quite dry. But I also know that it's pretty close. This stuff dries, anything from eye zinc dries so fast. You can see where you've got a little bit of a gloss going on and where you don't, and that's where it's drying. That still a little bit wet. That was the last one I put on. So it dries really, really fast. And we're going to finish this in just a minute. I'm going to set it off. Now remember, this is what slides in here. Oh, it's still wet, but that's okay. I can redo it again if I absolutely need to. This is going to slide in there and it's going to stand just like that. But we're not done with it. I'm going to stamp on it. I just needed to dry a few more minutes or take my heat tool, but I'm not going to do that. So let's take another one that perhaps is, oh, let's take this one. Let's take this one. This one is not wood. This one is acrylic. 
This one's acrylic. And the first thing you need to know about it is that there is a film on both sides so that the acrylic doesn't get scratched while you're decorating it. You're going to take off the acrylic as you need to, one side and then the other side. And in this instance, I'm going to leave one side of the acrylic covering, that coating, on until I am completely finished. So I'm going to just take off one side of this coating. It's just a little film. So now you can see the gloss, but on this side it's still kind of matte and you can see where all my fingerprints are. I'm going to leave this side coated. I'm not going to peel off the liner until I have to. And I'm going to work on this side alone while we're waiting for this one to dry. And let's see where are we at. Almost. It's getting there. Okay, so I'm going to let that one dry. See, I can't tell if it's my fingers, if it was on my fingers, or if my fingers were already that dirty. Mm -hmm. Now, what do we want to do with this one? How do we want to paint this? Do we want to paint it with the eyes ink? The, the natural paint? No, you can. It will work. Don't get me wrong. It absolutely will work. But it will also, this is an opaque paint. Remember how easily it covered up that wood? It didn't take much at all to take it from that to that. Ooh, that looks good. This is acrylic. I want to keep some of that light coming through it, perhaps. And what's the best way to do that? Well, that's with the eyes ink ice. The ice is definitely more, it's, it's more translucent, more transparent. It is more like a glaze than anything else and it's beautiful. I think I think I will play with the gold and the red today. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now remember, I have one side still with that that liner over the top. I haven't peeled it back to expose the acrylic, but I did on this side. And this is the side I'm going to work from. Before I get started, boy, I made a mess out of my fingers. Let me tell you, before I get started painting, I want to stamp first. You're like, stamp? Yep, I want to stamp right on the side that I have taken that liner off on. Not on the side that still has the liner, because if I stamp on that and then I pull the liner off, will I take the stamped image with it? So I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab the succulents stamp. Love this stamp. It is by Stampendous, and yes, it's part of the YouTube Yummies. Absolutely. Big six by six, beautiful stamp. I'm gonna lay it down, and I'm gonna kind of put my, my uh, stand over the top and see where it is that I would like to get on my image. What is it that I'm looking for? Gosh, I think that's beautiful. I think I'm going to take this spot right here. And because I'm stamping on something that is non-porous, this is a plastic, I can't stamp with a state or a, a memento ink. I need, or a, 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 yeah, I can't stamp with a memento or who, uh, maybe a Tim Holtz ink. I can't, you know, a Tim Holtz distress ink or an oxide ink won't work. I need to stamp with something that is permanent. And that would be a stays on ink. It stays on. When you think of a permanent ink, think of a Sharpie marker. What do you use a Sharpie marker for? Do you write on, you write on plastic or metal or glass, anything that's non-porous, that Sharpie marker will go down on and it will not smear and move. That's the same as a stays on pad. I'm going to be using black today, but it comes in many, many colors, and it really is used for things that are non-porous. Could I ink up a stamp and put paper down on top of it and stamp the image? Sure I can. Absolutely. Ink, 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 ink. Put a piece of paper over the top of it? Sure I can.
there's my image. Absolutely, it will work. Is that what it's known to do? Is that the best thing that to do with it? No. You can do this also with Memento ink and Tim Holtz ink and Lawn Fawn ink and, and uh, Stampin' Up ink. All of that ink will do this. There's only certain inks out in the market that will allow you to stamp on something non-porous and stays on is one of them. So I'm going to ink up my stamp and I'm not gonna put it on a block because this is a big stamp. So I'm gonna lay it upside down and ink it the way I am and just like I put my paper on top, I'm going to put the stand for my phone case on top. Okay, I think I'm good. So, I need to take the side that I have pulled that liner off and put that down against my stamp. I don't want to put the side where the liner is because then when I take the liner off, well, I will have taken my stamped image off. So I'm gonna figure out what I want it to look like, what image, because I have room, I, I could move it wherever I want. I could rotate it, I could do whatever I want because this is a bigger stamp. And I think I'm gonna put it there. And then I'm gonna give a press. And I'm gonna make sure I press everywhere. I'm not gonna do chest compressions, but I'm gonna lay my hand flat you may want to take a piece of paper and lay that over it so your hands don't get inky if you don't like inky hands. I do not mind inky hands. I think I've got it and let's pull it up. Okay. Ooh, I actually probably have too much. There's my image. I think I actually have too much ink up there. Huh. Okay. Do you think I have too much ink up there? Oh no, maybe I don't. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. Oh, no, I don't, I do. Okay, that's it. But I love this, and I love this. So, because it's an alcohol-based ink, it's going to dry very quickly. I don't have to wait a lot of time. It's not a dye-based ink. A dye-based ink would never dry on top of a, a, an acrylic or a metal or a glass, a plastic. But an alcohol-based ink, which is what stays on is, will allow me to do that. It will stain your stamp. You have to be okay with that. It will go ahead and kind of stay in it stains your stamp black can you buy a solvent cleaner that will take the black off yes you absolutely can buy a solvent cleaner that will take the black off i don't mind it and if you do use the solvent cleaner on clear stamps you must be very quick with it because that solvent cleaner can eat into a clear stamp it won't cause harm on a on a rubber stamp but on a clear stamp you want to be quick with a solvent cleaner I just let it be because once you clean it off, it's not going to stamp black again until you add black to it. It's just, it stays on is what it does. So I've got this one here. I think I'm going to switch them over. Oh, I'm all dry here. I'm going to move that one there. And now I've brought back my lattice work, which is completely dry. It was dry a while ago. And now what can I do with it? Well, I can take, um, what stamp do I like? Take my glasses and put my glasses on. What stamp makes my heart happy? Oh, does that one work for me? Sure, that one works for me. This is also a Stampendous stamp. What I need to tell you about these Stampendous stamps on some of them, not all of them, is that when you get it, it's on a liner. Let's see if I can find a liner. Hmm, that one looks like it's cut. A liner, hello. Is 
and found a liner in it? Oh, it does. Hot dang. Okay, so when you get these stamps, they come to you like this in the package. And you take the liner off. But sometimes people get confused and they think that this piece here, this clear piece, is also a liner piece and that you're supposed to peel it off. No, just the big piece of clear liner is what you're supposed to take off. This is what lets the stamp stick to your block. You need that. Now, if it really annoys you, you can absolutely trim around it with your scissors, but you need this the clear on top so it sticks to your block. Please remember, when you use Stampenda stamps, not all of them are this way, but if it has this double, like this double liner, don't take off the small one. If, it, if it's gonna make you pull it off, see, look at, you're tearing it. I'm tearing it. Don't, stop. Just put it right on your block and then you're good to stamp. So, do I need to use stays on on this. No, I can, but wood, wood tends to be porous. It tends to absorb. That's why you're able to stain it. I've put some paint over the top of it and it still will be able to absorb on in. I could use my stays on, but I could also use my India ink from, uh, from Hero Arts, my Memento ink. What makes your heart happy? Wood is definitely different than acrylic. Non-porous, porous. So if I ink this up with my, I'm using my Hero Arts India ink, and if you've got um, Stampin' Up! ink, go for it. If you've got Lawn Fawn ink, go for it. If you've got Memento ink, go for it. If you've got VersaClaire, go for it. This doesn't really matter whose ink you use. Use the ink that you've got. If you don't have any ink, the India ink from Hero Arts, it only comes in black. It's a great black ink. Okay, so I'm going to bring over my gush pad. And figure out where I want my stamp to go. And then let's give a press. So I'm using a gush pad because I need to stamp in. I need it to sink down into the, into the wood. I need to make a really good contact. And because the wood doesn't have a lot of give like paper, it's even more important to use that gush pad so that you can get that stamp into that con onto that wood and make really good contact. If I was doing it right on hard the hard surface, it's likely that I may miss a spot. I may still miss a spot, but I'm gonna try not to. Oh, oh good. Oh, oh. What do you think? Isn't that cute? And then you take your and it sits right there for whomever you made it for. You can sign it on that. Well, I would see, I would paint the back. That's just me. But then you can sign your name and the year and, and you can stamp. Oh, I could. I could stamp right on my. So one, two, three, A, B, C. Let's hopefully that's good enough. Oh, I moved it. Okay, we're not going to... Oh, it didn't even... Oh, perfect. Yay! Happy day for me. <laughs> and now I can put that in. And then from the back side, front and back. And on goes... On goes your phone when you need it. And when you don't, when it's taken away, it's so pretty. You could put a picture here of somebody. You could put a calendar. You've got options. You've got absolute options to do. And it's quick 
and it's simple and it's something that I think people will appreciate because it's useful and it's handmade and you do it in the colors that make their heart happy. See, I did this one. I did this one earlier. That's the one I showed you earlier. Two different stands, two different stamps, both beautiful. But remember, I have got the acrylic one over here that I was playing with, right? And I got the stamped image on. I've got my stamped image on, on that glossy side and it totally dries, uh, stays on dries very quickly because it's an alcohol-based product. So that alcohol evaporates really fast, letting that ink dry. I still have not taken off the top, the, the layer, the liner on the other side. I'm going to continue to play on the side that I have taken that liner off. And this is where the ice comes in. So I have got eye zinc ice. Remember, it's kind of translucent. It's kind of glazy. It's really pretty, really easy to use. And I am going to take it and I know I'm going to use my fingers, but that's okay. I'm going to take some red and I'm just going to move it around. Now I am putting it directly on top of that stays on stamped image. Right on top of that stays on stamped image. And I'm just going to take it and move it around and paint the whole thing. And I am literally just finger painting. You can see that it's more translucent, transparent than the eyes ink natural paint. If I was using the natural paint, you wouldn't be able to see the stamped image anymore. It would be done, gone, covered up with that paint because it is the coverage is so amazing. But I don't want to lose that stamped image. Okay, so I've got some of the red on. Light in color, subtle. Now let's take some of the gold. And this is a metallic gold. Ooh. <laughs> so Isink has metallics. It has, um, it has pinks and purples and blues and the colors are just gorgeous. And now I'm gonna take that, that uh, gold and I'm just gonna go and put it right on top of that red. And I'm just gonna kind of willy-nilly it. No real rhyme, no real reason. I don't want you to think that there's a, a, a real skill to this. <laughs> Cause not so much. <laughs> So pretty. And now if I wanted to add a little bit more red back in, a little bit of red. Just kind of blend it. And it kind of looks like a hot mess from the back. Maybe a little more gold up here. Kind of looks like a hot mess. All right, so I'm going to Get it off my fingers. And it is going to need to dry. But it is an ising product so that it will dry fairly quickly. And you could take a heat tool and kind of heat it so it dries a little faster. If this took more than five minutes to dry, I would be absolutely shocked. So remember, I haven't taken the front off yet, but you can already see what I'm seeing. Let me go ahead and 
peel it off. I do. Okay, are we ready? What do you think? The gold comes through, the red comes through. If you look at it now, and you're like, oh my gosh, I want more gold somewhere. I want more red somewhere. Simple, just take a piece of paper towel, put it down on your craft mat because you've got that beautiful, pristine, clean, look at that, it's perfect. But if I wanna add more, I just come back in and I add more. Even if it dries and you decide you want to go back in and add more, no problem. And in fact, if you let it dry and then come back and do the whole back of it gold, you'll never see the red. It'll look like it was, you know, it looks like it's all finished. It's up to you how much you want to see of what color. And you can just add and add and add. And then turn it around. It looks, it's so beautiful. It really is. What did I do with the, no, that's not it, and no, that's not it. Anybody see where I put the little, the little stand piece? Oh, found it. So I would do the stand as well. Who would not love to get a gift like that? Do you remember painting on the backside of glass years ago or decoupaging, mod podging on the backside of glass? That's all you're doing here. And because the stamped image is not on the top, it's on the back. It is, you don't have to worry about it accidentally scraping off. You don't have to worry about it transferring onto something. It is beautiful and you can do this. You can. You can do this. Now there's also a way to take a, a paper embellishment and put that paper embellishment, glue it down, and then do the same thing, I zinc all over it. I've got beautiful samples like that. Think about the little paper embellishments that you get the ephemera that you get with some of your collections or rice paper Think about rice paper, but if you want to be quick, simple, and easy, you stamp it and then you glaze it. Or you paint it and then you stamp it. Done. And I want to say the stands are $8 and then they're on a YouTube yummy sale. What a lovely gift for somebody. So if they're, uh, that's $1.60, so is that $6.40 each? What a great gift for somebody, right? I think that's the price. And how you decorate it is up to them. What makes their heart happy? Maybe you stamp little paw prints all over it because they're a fur, they have a fur baby. I, I, Maybe, maybe you do one for a guy. I've got great guy stamps to show you. The samples they did for guys are amazing, but we're not done. This is just using the eye zinc paint or the eye zinc ice. We need to move on. You're like, really? Yes, there's so much more. Okay, so let me get myself kind of, sort of cleaned up because I need to bring over caps 
Anybody seen caps? Oh, right there. Uh, this one's red. And this one's gold. So I'm gonna move these two out of my way. And in place of them, there's still a little, well, this one's not wet at all, but the other one is. In place of them, I'm going to bring over a big tub of water. Isn't that beautiful? That is how this one was done. Stamped on the back. So, oh, and here, Doris did hers where she covered the whole thing and once it was all dry, she came back with just the gold so that you didn't see any of that pink. See, mine is kind of a mishmash on the back, but when it dries, I would go back and do the same thing. I would go back and do the whole thing in gold so it finishes it off and it's not a mishmash on the back. But she's got multiple colors. She's got the champagne-y, um, the champagne -y rose gold mixed in with the, with the regular gold and stamped with stays on. She stamped first, stamped first, and then used the ice. So pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna move these out of my way. Is there such a place as out of my way? And I'm gonna bring over a big tub of water. Hello, water. Now I'm gonna tilt up a little bit and I'm gonna tilt back a little bit. This is a big old tub of water. Bought the jug from the dollar store. We are going to be marbling. We're going to be using Easy Marble. And Easy Marble is a product from Marabou. <laughs> Mine are a little bit messed. They, they are lovingly used. Easy Marble is ultimately, it's like a liquid plastic. And there's many colors and they have colors called color shifters where it adds a glitter tone to it. And they have a color called crystal. Where is my crystal? Crystal, color called crystal, which is a color that is no color at all. And how you use this is just with water. That's all water but it's important that you use the right water you're like water how can you use the right water well the room the water can't be too cold to use this it can't be too cold and it can't be too hot the best water is room temperature that's it just room temperature water and if you have distilled water, that's great. If you don't, then keep it nice and room temperature. I had to take ours. I had to take ours and we have a uh, sparklets here and I filled it and it was super cold. So I filled it halfway with cold and then halfway with hot to get it down to a lukewarm temperature. Can anybody do this? Yes. Are you ever going to want to, you, you keep this, this jug for, <laughs> for only when you're marbling and you only need a jug or a, a vessel big enough for what you're doing. Because what we are dipping in is deep. Because what we're di dipping in is deep, I want to have something that I can go dip the whole thing in and then bring the whole thing out. If I was doing just little keychains, I could get away with just a very simple little Tupperware. But because I'm doing something larger, something deeper, I need to have something that will allow me to dip the whole thing in at once. Now, before I start dipping, I'm gonna play with the, with the, um, the Easy Marble so you can kind of see what it does and what it doesn't do. If I were to take this fabulous red and I was to drip, 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 because that's what you do. It's a drip, drip, drip. So if I was to drip, 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 and then I was to walk away for a few minutes and I needed to go answer the phone or the kids were calling or the grandkids were calling or the spouse was saying, hey, you wanna make some lunch? 
whatever, if I let that sit there for a little bit, what's going to happen is that it's going to set. Let's see. And if you are using cold water, the colder your water, the quicker this is going to set. And we don't want it to set. We want to use it while it's still able to cling and hold on to because if it sets, it just becomes, it's easy cleanup. Doop. Just becomes a piece of plastic. It becomes a very fine film of plastic, kind of like pudding. Okay, back up. I know Doris is like, again, Stacy. yes, again. Kind of like pudding. So my mom, and, my mom would make pudding, like on the stove pudding, where you had to heat it and boil it and stir it, and then she'd put it in these little saucer cups, and they had little stems. I don't know where we got them, and I don't know why the pudding went in them, but they did. And you had to wait for hours for the pudding to set. And then you knew it was done when you could put your finger on it, and your finger didn't go in, but it set on top. It had this little skin on top. And that was my favorite part of the pudding was, could I peel that skin back in one, you know, one peel? I know I'm weird. I get it. It's okay. I'm, I embrace my weirdness, but that is very much like what you get if you let the easy marble sit too long, or if you're using water that is too cold or if you have hard water, that's where a bottle of distilled water may be your friend, but you don't want it to be pudding. No, no, no. Go get yourself some jello and make it the old fashioned way. None of the instant stuff. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, and then you can have a fond memory of, can you pull that skin back in one fell swoop? That is what happens if you drop easy marble and walk away. Now, what if you drop easy marble and you just use one color. That's it, just one color. What if I drop a piece of paper in and zoop. Kind of boring, right? It's kind of boring. <laughs> now, the easy marble is already dry. What is wet is the paper. So the paper's just been submerged in water. Once the paper dries, this is gonna be great. The easy marble, it's already dry, already done. But that doesn't look like marbling to me, does it? It doesn't look like marbling to me at all. With easy marble, let's see, it's, well, it's getting there. It's starting to, there we go. With easy marble, you want to use at least two colors. Okay, at least two colors. And you don't want to sit there and think about the colors you're going to use. You want to get them ready to go. Take, you want to have them shaken up. Let's use this one and let's use, oh Lord, I, let's use my black. So we'll use these two and I don't want to lose my crystal. We'll use these two, red and black. You want to have them ready to go. Lids off. Whatever you're going to dip in your hand, and you can dip glass, plastic, fabric, ribbon, paper, metal, cork. All of a sudden, you look at the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Store, a whole new way because anything in the Dollar Store, you can dip. Candles, candlesticks, you name it. If, if you can submerge it, you can marble it. <laughs> so this time, I'm going to take my red and a few little reds, and it really is a few, and a black, a few little black, and I'm going to take and I'm going to swirl it, just a little swirl, swirl, swirl. Swirl, swirl, swirl. And then I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to go zoop. And now I have marbled. That is what marbling does. And again, I'm on paper. And you never know, you might like the back side better than the front side. 
but I'm on paper, so this will eventually dry. The marbling is already dry because it's actually a plastic. It's not an ink. I just now have to wait for my paper to dry. But what if I wanted to, let's see, they have color shifters. Let's see what color, let's see what color shifter I've got. I've got this one. Let's see what it looks like if I do blacken that. Now I can also clean the top just by taking a piece of paper or something along that line and just getting all that marbling right out. Easy cleanup. And I'm not gonna continue to change my water. Once that film is taken off from the top, you don't change your water over and over and over again. You may have to fill it back up a little bit because you've used so much of it as you're dipping, but you use the water until you don't need it anymore and then you pour it down the drain because there's no plastic left on top. So what if I used, um, what if I used this and some gold? So this is a color shifter. Don't know what we're gonna get, but we're gonna give it a whirl. And a color shifter is one that doesn't add a lot of color, but it adds a glittery iridescence to it. That one's pink. Do I want pink? Huh. Well, we're gonna go for it anyway. So let's try some black. Some black. A couple drops of gold. And a couple color shifter. And I want to say there's seven color shifters. And let's do a swirl, 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 swirl. And let's grab a piece of paper. And let's go see what we've got. Well, you've got my red finger in there. That's marble. Now, can you see that pink coming through? And I've got, I, I can do one, I might be able to get one more out of this. What do you think? And you can see that pink iridescence. That's what the color shifter does. This one doesn't have it as much, but boy, that's a really great pattern. But this has got the gold and the pink and that black marbling on paper. Easy to do. But <laughs> what if you are on a budget? And you say, Stacy, I love you. I want to try this. I can only get three colors. Now, mind you, they're on a YouTube Yummy, and they retail for $3.99, and then they're going to be on sale. So for under 10 bucks, you can get yourself three colors. Easy peasy. What if you say, I only, I only have, I can only get three colors. What do I do? What three colors do I get? Well, the first color that you absolutely, without question, buy is the crystal. It is the most important color out of all of them. This is color without color. So what does that mean? Well, remember how I told you, if you just take one color, let's try a different color, let's play. What if you just take one color I'm going to do that one, and I'm going to do this one. All right. Okay, so I've chosen these two colors. So remember what I said. If you just use one color, and I drop that in there, and I put my piece of paper in there, Not overly exciting, <laughs> not overly exciting at all. There's no swirl because there was nothing to swirl it with. But, okay, so let's, 
Let this get its little skin on it. And I'm using the back of my tweezers. I actually have right here little, uh, oh, there we go, little toothpicks. So let's just make sure that I get it all up. Let's grab some toothpicks and I'll use toothpicks so you can see that you can do it all with toothpicks too. Joop. Joop. Sound effects required. I'm just picking up the little blue spots that I see because I can, I can see them. Okay, so now if I add the blue and I add a little bit of my yellow, that is what allows you with your toothpick to make swirl, 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 let's swirl, swirl, swirl. Let's get something going on there and let's pull that. What do we think there? Ooh, pretty, right? Because you only could have two colors. You said, stay there, right? You can only have three colors and here I've used two. Now you take that crystal, and the crystal is the color without color. It is the one color that is the most important color. If all you can get is three of these, make sure crystal is one of it, because it allows you to add, it allows you to take one color and make that one color marbly. So I'm gonna open my crystal. It's color without color. It lets you do all the swirls, but it doesn't have any color in it. Take my blue. Let's take my crystal. And can you see? It's swirling, but there's no color there. So let's swirl, swirl, swirl. Move that crystal around. And then let's grab my paper. And let's go, zoop, ha. So if you've got limited colors, but you have crystal, you're no longer forced to use the only, the two colors that you have. These are the two colors that you, or these are the two colors, well, I'm almost there. These are the two colors that you have, and this would be the only combination you can use. No, add the crystal. Now you can use this combination by itself, or you can use the blue combination by itself. That crystal opens up a whole new world of using just one color. So important. And you're like, but Stacy, where are the phone cases? I'm getting to them, but you have to understand. See, I picked it all up on a toothpick. Can you see that? I picked that whole skin up on a toothpick. You can either take your toothpick and wipe it off or throw it away. It depends upon how much you, you uh, wanna not hurt any more trees, up to you. So, I could take my yellow and go yellow, 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 and take my crystal and go crystal, 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 and go swirl, 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 and then take my paper and go in and grab. Okay, this is what marbling is all about. Now imagine doing with anything that you can't nail down. <laughs> anything that ha you've got tchotchke, that's old picture frames. Those old, gold, yucky looking picture frames from the Dollar Tree. Just marble them. <laughs> Take the glass out and go for it. You know, a dollar goes a long way at the Dollar Tree. You could go there with kids and get some of this and just let them have a heyday. At uh, Easter, absolutely you can do your eggs. You'd have some pretty phenomenal eggs. I mean, your neighbors would be like, ho! Oh. <laughs> it would no longer be, um, <laughs> it, 
Oh, I hope I'm putting these on the right ones. It would no longer be the big uh, Christmas light contest. It would be the Halloween or the Easter egg contest. Holy smokes. Okay. Now we've got our pretty, beautiful, plain wood that we want to dip. And what colors do we want to use? Um, I I kind of like the I'm I like the red. Oh, but I don't know. Maybe maybe the maybe we do a blue. This blue. And maybe this green. And maybe this white. So along with the crystal, I like the white. Because on something like this, I would use the crystal if I still wanted to see some of the wood grain. In fact, we'll do it. I've got a couple of them. And, but with the white, the white's going to work in there. And I like the white too. So let's take and play. I'm hoping I shook that up enough. You think so? Sometimes I can't tell. I'm going to say go, well, I don't know. Shake, 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 shake. I can't tell. You know what? I'm going to let it sit upside down. We'll do the blue and the green first. Should we add one more color? The yellow? Okay. If you insist, we'll add the yellow. Oh, my whole top came off. How about this one? Yep. Okay, so let's go blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. And let's go pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, there's a little film on it, but that's okay. And then let's go yellow, yellow, yellow. And green, green, green. And see what we get. And toothpick. And swirl, swirl, swirl. And let's see what we get. Ready? because it had picked up the majority of my marbling when I dunked it the first time. Here's the back side. You may like the back side better than the front side. It's entirely up to you. Let me get out my, <laughs> that was funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I screamed like Julia Roberts did in Pretty Women when he slapped the, <laughs> the box closed when, <laughs> or no, it was on him. Oh no, when she was touching the, the necklace for the first time, she put her hand on it and then he slapped it, clammed it closed. I screamed just like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Pretty. <laughs> great dad gift. Great grandpa gift. Great uncle gift. Great brother gift. Great boss gift. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, the SMS girls have already, they've lined up all the samples and they're deciding who gets to keep what. <laughs> okay, here I've got the heart one. Super cute. Love the heart one. And <laughs> well, if we're going to take these and throw these away before I make a mess. <laughs> Who are we kidding? I've already made a mess. 
<laughs> Let's see if I can try not to drop it this time. No guarantee. Um, I'm going to go back to my red, and I'm going to go back to my black, and I'm going to go back to my my gold because I like that combination. It looks so good. And being that we're doing hearts, right? So let me move my blue over. Now the we have bundles of all of these and please know you can buy them open stock, absolutely. But the bundles that we have, there are no duplicates in any of the bundles. So if you wanted, there's a, a, a neon bundle and a glitter bundle and opaque bundle and a regular bundle. If you bought all the bundles together, you wouldn't duplicate any of the colors. We made sure of it. And the crystal, the crystal isn't in any of any of the bundles. That one you're going to buy all by itself because you may just want that one and two other colors. Um, okay, I want to make sure I got my lids open and I'm ready to go. Am I ready to go? So red, black, gold. And, oh, I think I'm going to throw a little more red in there. And let's see what happens. Oh, I need to go. You've got to move it. Oh, I can't do that. I'll get in trouble. Maybe a little more black. See, I'm indecisive. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, let's see if we can pick up. Do you see that? I'm going to see if I can get that. Ooh. Ooh, kind of looks like fire. Oh, actually, it looks like veins, huh? <laughs> If it was maybe not on the heart one, that'd be kind of cool. But what if I want to add more? What if I want to go back in and add more red and more gold and stir, stir, stir and come in over the top and pick it up there. You can dip and dip and dip. Until your little heart is happy. Literally, your little heart. <laughs> Ooh. I should have gone all the way. See, I left a demarcation line. Can you see that? I didn't dip it all the way in. Let's see if I can get rid of that. And I can just start building color on top of color, on top of color. And this might be a good place for crystal because now I'm just adding red. And I just want to add red to it. I can come in and grab, 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 grab. And... Layer that red over. And just keep going until I'm happy. It's really up to you how much or how little you want to do. And I could even maybe pick up some of this with a piece of paper and use that as a background. And then we have the acetate. Now with the acetate, you do have to take off both layers, both layers of plastic. You can't dip it in with the liner on both sides because when you peel the liner off, well, let's, well I'm gonna take the liner off one side. Take the liner off one side and let's do, let's do the, blue 
and I've got a glittery one here. Let's put these over there and let's do this blue. I'm going to go ahead and leave the liner on this side and it will not marble this side because I'm going to take that off and have that beautiful satin or that beautiful high gloss finish. But let's do this one and this one. And let's see what we get. Blue, 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 blue. Glitter, 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 glitter. Stir, 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 stir. And oh, I'm going to drop it. I know it. And in I go. Now, if I put a piece of white paper behind it, you're able to see. But remember, it still has the liner on this side. So if I go in and I pull off that liner, it's going to make it crystal clear. get it so as I pull off that liner the marbling that's stuck to that liner is going to come off too leaving you just the most beautiful beautiful image so Tumbler mugs. What do you like to do? Look at, isn't that beautiful? It looks like an ocean. It looks like an ocean. You can do this. It's easy. It's fun. It needs to be well ventilated. There's no question about it. You want to do it with uh, the windows open. My hands, yours won't get this bad. I'm shaking and using super fast. And how do I get it off my fingers? Well, I'm going to wash my hair or I'm going to do the dishes. So really, I'm going to wash my hair. <laughs> it will come off after washing your hair uh, once or twice. It's all gone. So it doesn't stain your hands for forever. It truly doesn't by the time Tomorrow morning comes around and I've done dishes tonight. Mr. SMS is going, really? You're going to do dishes? Happy anniversary day for him too. <laughs> but it's a plastic. So it's going to come. See, it's already, it's, it's starting to rub right off. <laughs> and easy peasy mac and cheesy. But it's fun. It's easy. It's effective. Now, if you don't like the marbling, that's okay. Remember, I showed you not marbling at all, but using the eye zinc. Either in the the eye zinc ice or the eye zinc paint. You don't want to touch the marbling? I, I well, I get it. I do. I understand. I don't necessarily agree. I think that once you start, you'll want to marble everything in sight. And it really does make my heart happy. Is my white yet ready? I just can't tell. We're going to give it a whirl on the white anyway. What's the worst that can happen? Nothing, right? That's the worst that can happen is that nothing happens. And I love that blue. That blue was so pretty. And maybe I do it with that, do I do it with that orange or do I do it with the green? How about the green? 
love it with the green that makes my heart happy so let's put some so I've got my white my blue okay let's put some blue in put some green in and I have no idea if I have my white ready or not if I shook it up enough Mm, I'm going to say no, I didn't shake it up enough, but we're going to go for it anyway. Are you ready? make my heart happy what do you think of that okay so again I could do this all day long I really could sit here and play I understand that I need to move it along but I want you to see how easy these can be and yes you will have them in plenty of time to make your Christmas presents and then I put this off to the side let it dry and save it for another time although I could have done Could have done the stand as well love the acrylic the acrylic just makes my heart happy because it's clean and it's elegant and you've got that see-through and I could mix more colors instead of just doing the one sure I could but the idea of the acrylic is to kind of keep it that translucent transparent look to it but beautiful beautiful and the your phone it just fits just perfect it just goes where's my little stand it just goes just perfect oh there's a little stand zoop sound effects required and zoop and then when they take it off it's pretty okay i have made a mess without question i am going to move this out of my way wish me luck I am going to say I have made more backgrounds than I could, well, I'll use, well, one of the girls will use them. Let me move all of these out of my way. Oh, and the lids need to be put on. I know I can hear the girls already saying, Stacy, I will do it, I promise. Wipe up my craft mat, which is a hot mess. Get all that goop off my craft mat. It's a plastic. It's just going to kind of scrape right off. I'm just using a baby wipe. And for now, I think I can be okay with this. But I absolutely made more backgrounds than I know what to do with. I've just got so pretty. They're so, and some of these were, some of these were the, the scoop out after I was done stuff. Chipboard, paper, glass, you name it. What makes your heart happy? You can marble. So what did we do today? Okay, the first thing we did is we took the Isink, their paint, their natural paint, 80% made with 80% natural materials. It's friendly to the environment. It's friendly to you. It's friendly to your kids. And we took it and we made, we just literally, it took no time to dry. The kids can finger paint with it and it will be fine. And then I just stamped an image on it. And I even stamped the image. Now I would take and paint it all, don't I would, and I stamped the image on the back side as well. And then I had, like I said, I had done this one a little bit earlier. Then we took I Zinc Ice, so not the natural paints, but their ice product, which is more translucent. 
transparent depending on how thick you put it on it can go opaque it just depends upon how thick you put it on and we made this one and remember we stamped first yeah it's all dry we stamped first oh look at those fingers <laughs> stamped first and then I just finger painted over the back of it I did I just finger painted over the back of it see how perfect that front is mm -mm -mm. and Doris Doris when it was all said and done and finished drying she went back and added just the gold just to make it look all finished and pretty mm -mm -mm. right beautiful then we walked on the wild side a little bit and we started to play with the marbling and we started to dip. And to just make beautiful gifts. Any of these would be good for guys and girls. But what an easy peasy guy gift. You could even put a little sentiment down there for dad, for uncle, for grandpa, for papa, for who, uh, whomever, brother, son. Everybody's got a phone. Everybody needs a phone stand, at least in the kitchen, by their office, in the bathroom. I'm telling you, the girls, we've got probably, I probably have 40, we've probably made 40 of these in total. I won't show you all 40. But they're all dying and putting their names underneath who gets what. Who gets what? That's all done with the marbling. So, what is on sale? Well, what's on sale? Okay, I have got, I've got the easy marbles. So, You've got a, a pack of neons. You've got a pack of all the glitter chain, you know, the glittery ones, the shifters that give that iridescence. You've got a pack of opaque colors, which was like that green that I was using um, on this one. You've got a pack of all the other colors. So these are the four I wanted all, and there's not one color that overlaps. Not at all. You don't have any any extra color, you know, a color of this over here too, so you end up with two. No, if you get all the I Want It Alls, you'd end up with all of the colors with the exception of the crystal. And the crystal, the crystal is the color you gotta have the most of. It's the one you use most frequently because it gives you the opportunity to do the most and it is not included in any of the bundles. We also have a few left of their starter, their little starter kits, which are kind of nice because what they did is they put three colors together, not including the crystal, that are going to work well together. So you've got the metallics here. They know that those three are gonna blend really well together. You've got the ocean kind of colors here. You've got more pastel -y colors here. So they've got, we've got a few of these sets left. They didn't have any more for us to, um, to bring in. They are completely sold out. Then you have some of the stamps by Stampendous that I played with. And these will all be on, on the YouTube Yummy Sale. There's more than this. We used Hero Arts stamps in the samples. So anything we used in the samples, we're putting as part of the YouTube Yummy. And then we've got the iZinc Ice and the iZinc Natural on sale. And last but not least, we have got the phone cases. So we've got the heart in crystal or in acrylic. We've got my exclusive lattice in acrylic, which is only for scrapbooking made simple and I love it. We've got the kind of scallop topped in acrylic. We've got the scalloped all the way around in acrylic. And we've got just the plain flat one, the plain rectangle in acrylic. And then we do it all over again in in the wood there's mine exclusive to scrapbooking made simple and you can see 
you can see why it takes much more to cut this one than it does this one and yet they didn't increase the price for me so take advantage of that while we can we've got the scalloped all the way around I've got the heart and I've got the plain rectangle now samples holy smokes artichokes I don't know how I'm going to show you all of these samples but they're beautiful and your phone sits right on it This one is done with the Ising glaze and then stamped. So the Ising glaze right on the wood. This is on wood. Here is on acrylic with that Hero Arts stamp and the color shifter glitter behind it. This is fabulous. It shows so much better, I bet, in person than it does on, on the camera, but it is amazing. Any guy is gonna love to get that. It's just a great stand, beautiful. Here is my lattice with some stenciling and a little fussy cut bird to keep it just very simple. Done with the, um, done with, gosh, is this, I think this is the Ising paint. Here we have the, again, we've got the Ising and then we've stamped on it. And kind of grunged it up. Great for dad, great for a grad. Look at this one. This is done with um, this is done with the marbling. And then do you see the little dots? Actually, the back is easier to see. That's a stamp from Hero Arts. But Claire did it, and we liked it just kind of random all the way around. And then put your phone right on it. And then, holy smokes, artichokes. How beautiful is this? So theirs are completely covered where mine are not. Depends upon how many times you go back and dip. Totally up to you. How many times do you go back and dip? You want it completely covered, you keep dipping. You want it not as covered, you do one dip. It's up to you. And then we've got my lattice again using the Ising natural paint and we've stenciled on it. We've just a beautiful little heart stencil. And then here we've got my lattice and what we've done is taken paper and we've glued the paper to the back. And then we've covered it with the Ising Ice Gold. And we've kept that liner on the top. We didn't take that liner off until the last thing. Look at, look at how perfect that is. It's like painting on the back of glass. I used to do that a lot. That's where I got the idea to do this. It's like, oh, we've got to do this. This was done with marble. And then the birds were done with the... Jane Davenport pastels that we have on a door buster for you. Here we have on acrylic and we have stamped. It's elegant, it's simple. We did the we did this the stand. Somebody gets this as a gift and they just leave it on their desk. It's practical. It's very practical and I like practical gifts. <laughs> this is marbled and it has that iridescent. It has one of the color shifters in it. I'm not sure if I can get the camera to get it, but it's got a color shifter in there. And again, we took a piece of paper Cut it out, glued it to the glued it to the case, to the plastic, and then took Ising ice and didn't do anything on the front, so you have that smooth, pristine glass look. And here we marbled, 
And again, they went crazy. They marbled and swirled and added and went on top of where I kept it a little more simple. I don't know, which one do you like better? This one has a color shifter and a gold in there. Which do you like better? You don't have to choose, you can do it all. <laughs> Up to you. <laughs> I'm running out of space here. Oh, this one's really got a good color shifter. Can you see that blue iridescence coming through? That is the color shifters. I think there's seven of them. That's the marbling. And then they stamped on top of it with a Stampendous stamp that we will have. But oh my gosh, how beautiful is that? And then I did this one earlier. So I stamped with that succulent stamp from Stampendous, and then I put my eye zinc on the back, and now that it's dry, I would come back and go ahead and go do a little bit more gold on it. I know it's a little different, I know it's a little out there, but gosh, don't you wanna take a step and try? You can do this. It, 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 it's crafting in a way you might not have thought of crafted before. And it's affordable so that you're able to make lots of gifts. This marbling lasts you a really, really long time. The Isink ice and the paint last a really, really long time. You're going to be able to, um, to really utilize it and enjoy it and make make many gifts from it without spending too much money. I don't know. What do you like? You have options. You have oodles and oodles and oodles of options. All right, you guys, I'm going to tilt up. Oh, it's late. I'm going to zoom on back. I'm going to say, where are you going to find all of this great product? Well, the doorbusters you're only going to get here for our anniversary sale, and they'll be on sale until we run out for the week. Once the YouTube Yummy sale is over, so will the doorbusters. So it's a week unless we sell out sooner. The beautiful lattice phone case, again, only at Scrapbooking Made Simple. Um... The marabou, you may already have it. You may already have some of this and you don't need any of it. Or you might want to just pick up a couple of colors. The, the eyes ink you can get from us. If you have a local scrapbook store, see if they've got the marabou. See if they've got the eyes ink. Trust to go to them and say, hey, do you have this? I saw this at or on. And, um, and if they do, buy it from them. And then the things you can't get from your local scrapbooking or paper crafting or card making store, then come shop with us. But if you're lucky enough to still have a store, trust me, they want to see another anniversary. Believe me, they do. So I probably now have it all over me. <laughs> so you can shop with us at scrapbookingmadesimple.com. This is our anniversary sale, our anniversary YouTube. Don't forget to post your comment because we are picking as many winner, winner chicken dinners as we can. All right, you guys, I will see you next week. Bye.